If men truly, and I mean truly, concerned about the mental health and the assault on black boys and black men, they would be collectively calling out young Miami's 10 year old son throwing money at strippers. Y'all don't know what time it is, I got the black bean neck on. I don't know if you all have seen the video or not, um, but there is a video posted by JT of young Miami's 10 year old son being there rolling loud and there's strippers in his face and he's throwing money at the strippers. And you have this 10 year old boy being gassed up by adults to throw money at strippers. And What's, it's not funny, it's really sad, but what's really messed up is seeing Young Miami's response to it, saying he's 10 years old, he's not six. Um, yes, what's the issue? Like she had absolutely no issue with it. But not too long ago, she sat on a Breakfast Club interview and said that she would beat her child. She would beat her child if she found out that he was gay. Y'all are not concerned about kids being sexualized. Y'all do not care. Y'all do not care. Because if y'all cared, you would be dragging this to the high heaven. It would be so bad that the video will be taken down. Young Miami would be fearful of losing her son or something like, if it was really, really, if y'all were really concerned, the way you all have been upset about books being read, about queerness, drag queens being at certain places, like, and it's not even just the collective, it's also men. You have men gassing this up. You have men saying, oh, this, uh, this is the moment I want with my child. This is the moment I want to have. I want to have this experience with my son. This is what I'm doing with my son. And then if there is something that happens to a woman, a black woman, some time from now, because it, it, it always ends up being a story of a black woman talking about her being salted or something, um, whatever the story, at being groomed or something like that, then you have a couple of folks who would get and say, y'all don't be talking about black boys being groomed and black men being groomed and da da da. Y'all not caring about our mental health and what we got going on. There'll be 20,000 podcasts sponsored by Kevin um, Samuels about this conversation. But I'm not seeing, overwhelmingly, I'm not seeing black men responding to this because this is, uh, you know what? I want to call it that so bad, but this is, it's disgusting. You have this 10 year old sitting next, standing next to strippers and throwing money. And folks think this is okay. Folks have no issue with this. They have no issue with it at all. And this is the second time that we have seen a celebrity and their child being in this summer, just this summer over the last two months, where celebrity's child, a, a young boy, being in the in the area where strippers and being coerced to participate in this type of behavior. And no one seems to have an issue with it. No one seems to think that this is sexualizing black boys. Nobody has an issue with it because they think this is the way, this is how it's supposed to, this is how it's supposed to be. And then when black men become more aware 10, 15, 20 years later that they were forced to do something without their consent, then they have to sit and think about that they experienced something that was very traumatic, very traumatic. And that's what's going on with this right now. Like you had young Miami be more upset, more vicious, more wanting to like punish her child in a, in a situation, a made up scenario of her child being gay. Like she, what she would say, she would beat him. 
But she, you're not concerned about sexualizing of black boys. You're not concerned about your child being forced anything because if you were, you would be calling this out. You would be like, hey, y'all have absolutely no issue with it. Y'all have no issue with it. Y'all are gassing it up. And y'all wonder, y'all, y'all, y'all wonder like, what is going on? With, like, what's going on with like black men? What, what is the tea? Like, well, we need to be step. Y'all are not concerned about this 10-year-old because y'all already see him as an adult. Y'all already choosing what lifestyle he should have. Y'all already picking these things up. Y'all already pushing it, pushing it on him. Y'all are asking him. Y'all are y'all are disgusting. Like if this if this was a girl, oh Lord, it'll be through the roof. It'll be, it'll be through the roof. It'll be, y'all are not interested in protecting kids. Y'all are harmful folks. And you know what? Some of y'all don't deserve children, to be honest. Y'all don't deserve kids. And I don't give a damn if this shit is considered personal or whatever. I don't give a damn if I don't ever get a chance to interview some of y'all. Because some of y'all are really disgusting, to be honest. Yeah, this is a personal thing. Because I done got pissed off. Because I have to sit up here and listen to y'all say some of the most stupidest shit. And I have to close my ears. Like, oh, girl. It is what it is. But this right here... I, like how folks are responding to it and, and how Carisha is like girls because I'm calling your ass Carisha because that's what law enforcement need to be calling y'all. Y'all, y'all are ready to punish Carly Russell. Like she the same one who's out here dragging Carly Russell for lying to the police, lying to the police, like it, something needs to be happening. Da, da, da. You got your 10-year-old being filmed and posted on Instagram for a clout. Throwing money at strippers. Are you okay? Is the folks okay? Like, what's going on? What is going on? Like, it's like something is wrong, sister. Something is wrong. This is a child. Y'all are reinforcing this stereotype on black boys. Y'all are, this, this is a 10 year old, and y'all don't see this boy as a child. Y'all see him as an adult. Y'all, y'all don't know, y'all, like, I'm honestly, what's the difference between y'all and the state? Like, what's the difference between y'all and the state at this point? That you sit over here uh, seeing this, this 10-year-old in a space where, like, sex workers, that's, that's what it is. Like, and he's throwing money at it. Like, are y'all okay? But you know what? This is a common thing. It's, it's, it's no different. That folks buying um, baby uh, bibs and saying how many girlfriends you got to kids. It's no, like, the bibs with, um, I got two girlfriends or whatever. Like, it's, y'all are committed to sexualizing children. Y'all are committed to sexualizing kids. Y'all get upset at queer folks for sharing their stories or educating youth that there is more than straightness. There's more than heterosexuality. There's more than just male and female. Providing them tools to be able to make their own decision, to be able to say, you know what, I don't identify with this. This is not my life. Y'all y'all are upset at them being given information to make the best decision for themselves, but y'all have absolutely no issue with a child being sexualized in this moment. And that's very confusing and concerning to me. That's very confusing and concerning to me because if y'all were committed to not sexualizing kids and all this other stuff, then y'all would be collectively jumping on this. You don't have an overwhelming like sense of black men jumping on, you know, protecting this black boy. You don't see it. You do not see it. They're not concerned about it They're, because it doesn't it doesn't support what they already believe in. They see absolutely no issue with it. And this is why we have to call it out. Like, this is an issue. This is something. Like, and I honestly want to, like, is, is this a form of assault? Like, I'm really thinking this because you are putting it, like, this is, is he giving child abuse? Like, I, I really have to question that. Like, no shade. No shade because if it was any other thing, y'all would be calling that. You would be calling it that. There's no way a child should be in any vicinity or any situation like this. Like, that it should not be happening. It should not be happening. And then y'all wonder why these, these kids 
turn, you know, 18, 19, 20, and they're confused because let's say a couple years from now that an older woman comes to this 10 year old and him at 12 and 13 and does something to him. Let's, let's say something happens where he does have um, some relation with an older woman and y'all don't look at that as like, I don't see no issue, but y'all already taught him that that's okay. Y'all already taught him that this is what's supposed to happen. This is normal. Y'all have taught him that this is normal. That's how I know y'all not committed to protecting black boys. That's how I know y'all not serious with these conversations about black men and mental health. I know y'all not serious. I know, I know that y'all using this as a deterrent to stop other conversations because yes, I do see some black men speaking up, but overwhelmingly it's a lot of queer folks and a lot of black women calling this out. That's all I see. That's all I see calling this out. I don't see a large amount of black men. Honestly, the black men who believe Megan lied and and time and time again on, on the wrong side when it comes to conversations like this are actually agreeing and saying it's okay. Like, <sighs> there needs, you know what? You really have to be careful who you have kids with. You really have to think about stuff like that because there is no way I would be in a relationship with anybody having a child with anybody who thinks this is okay. Like, this is why, this is why, like, I have to go down and look at my, like, what, what's, what's the tea? Because I refuse to be in a relationship where somebody's going to be putting my child in some harm and stuff like that. Like, y'all thinking that these other folks are, are, are grooming y'all kids and doing all that stuff, y'all are actually participating in the stuff that y'all scared the world is going to do y'all kids. It's happening right in y'all house. It's happening right in your eyes. And you don't see it because you don't see no issue with it. You don't see no issue with it. This is the most disgusting thing I've seen. And what made it even worse is that Young Miami has no issue with it. And, and JT gassing up, posting, yeah, like, like and, and you know what? I Before we even get into the conversation of, oh, they ghetto. This is hood stuff. This is what they do. Because just because you ghetto and you grew in the hood don't mean that you don't understand stuff. Black folks have an understanding that the police are not on our side without reading any of these books about anti-blackness in the state and police. Like, folks, they understand. They understand. So we're not gonna we gonna, we're not gonna say just because somebody can get old and what are the hood that they done, because I come from the hood, I come from the ghetto. And I, I don't I don't think like that. I don't think like that. I think it's an issue. But just seeing it. I don't even want to, I'm not even going to post the video of it. I'm not going to post it in here because this is a minor. This is a minor and I hate them even having a conversation about a minor experience, something like this, but it needs to be said because I, I, we can't stop JT from doing it. And honestly, I, 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 it's complicated when it comes to like, you know, CPS and stuff being called because that can put a child in another horn. So I don't encourage anybody to do that. But I do encourage somebody who is in community with Young Miami to tell her that this is wrong. I encourage the parents, the grandparents of somebody to step in and say, no, nah, Miami, this ain't right. The elders need to take care of this. Like, this is not right. I need somebody in community with Miami to say, no, nah, girl, this, this ain't how it's supposed to be. We, we're not doing this. Mamas, daddies, grandmamas, the grandmamas, the baby. Like, somebody needs to speak up because this ain't given. But you know what? Whoo, girl, the grandmama probably, the granddaddy probably agree with it too because, the, girl, I'm not finna get into that. Whoo, girl, like, when I tell you this is like got my blood pressure up because I, I see these things and I just don't see the, the over, overwhelming conversation about how wrong this is. But then if it's something else, it's, oh, y'all grooming kids, y'all doing stuff like that. This is the same person who had a lot of energy for beating her child if she found out he was gay. If he was playing with a doll or something like. Yeah, that's all I got, y'all. Um, you know, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, girl. And do better. That's all I got.